Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to part two of the Jeep Crazy Can Bro Dozer case study. So just what the doctor ordered, we got slush, we got sleet, and this Jeep barely started, <laughs> and the dash is a Christmas tree. So something got wet. We're gonna figure it out right now. Let's hook up the scope, look at the network, unplug some can wires at that star connector, and see what's going on with this thing. All right, here we go. We're on the can wires. Let's push the button. Yeah, we're pulled to ground for sure. <laughs> Let's see if we can start it. Nope. Well, it did start. Let me hook up my scope ground before we get too excited. Auto park disabled. We got a service shifter. Can't shift, can't do anything. No steering. Well, the steering actually works. Let me uh, hook up the scope ground first. So I've got the scope ground hooked up. We do have can, it's not completely pulled down the ground, but we see some stuff that's kind of weird. There's some packets in here that, right there. Look at that, that's good, that's bad. Let's save this, it's getting just corrupted. And we'll scan for codes, see who's uh, not talking. All right, here we go, here's the health report. 20 problems in the PCM. Lost communication with a lot of stuff. TCM, SRS, BCM, IPC, HVAC, all this stuff, but where is our ABS? Can we talk to the ABS? Look, ABS is offline. Can't talk. Okay, that's pretty cool. So now on our can see connector, ABS is C7. Let's unplug it and see if this crap disappears. C7 is going to be right there. If I can, let me try to grab that. Oh no, our can came back to life. Crap, did I do something? That sucks, now it's not dinging anymore. And we can shift, dang it. Ah, and can we talk to the ABS? We can. What a huge clue. Yep. So at this point, I am suspecting the ABS module for wreaking havoc here. Uh, on the cold start, we couldn't do anything. We can take it for a test drive, try to recreate it, and I'll be ready to unplug pin C7 and see if our communication instantly returns if the module is basically corrupting the, the can. It wasn't pulling it up to 12, it wasn't pulling it down to zero. Uh, it's just going nuts. So it really looks like the ABS module is going bad. So let's clear all the DTCs out while everything's online. Okay, and make sure the whole tree is green and we'll try to recreate it and I'll be ready to unplug C7 going to the ABS, see if that's causing our bad network signal. So just like that, clean bill of, bill of health, network looks great. So let's try to recreate it and that connector right there. I basically wanted to act up, pull it and see if the network goes back to normal. So I just unplugged the CAN connector going to the ABS module. Our network is fine, scanning it for codes. And we're gonna record this as ABS unplugged. Let's 
doing some weird stuff. Yep, so lost all these messages. Last con with ABS, last con with ABS. Okay, very cool. But our can is good. Let's plug it back in. Okay, so we're back online. Smart scan, clear all the codes out, and hopefully we'll drive it and it acts up and I'll be ready to pop, you know, pop that little connector out. So we're driving through massive puddles of slush. Kind of feel bad for those connectors with no fender wells, but hey, <laughs> got to do for testing. I'm actually now not suspecting a wiring problem. I'm just suspecting a bad module. Came and you know couldn't even talk to it. We'll see if it acts up again. So we're going up the Jeep trail in the slush, and this thing has wide bald tires. <laughs> I just want to get it to act up. It's so far it's so good. We're in four-wheel drive, four high. Yeah, at this point, we have enough evidence to call this ABS module. But I want to basically unplug that can connector and see the network come back to life and all the other faults disappear. Why would that module go nuts? Is there a power or ground problem? Yeah, I don't think so. It's too, it's too intermittent. Why did it only happen on a cold start? And then it's like, okay, I'm good. So we'll look up uh, if the module is available separately from the BBS pump and see if we can get a new one installed. And programming, uh, I don't know if that's gonna work on this 2018, but we'll see. Might not look like much, but this is thick slush and the Jeep's starting to go sideways. <laughs> Doesn't really matter if you have traction control on or off. This is one of my favorite mountain bike places up here. I feel like I'm disturbing nature with this lack of muffler. Might be some ice under here, so but so far so good. It's not acting up at all. The can is good, so it's a very intermittent problem, and it's definitely the ABS module. All right, well let's go back to home base and see if this module is available, how to program it, how much it costs. But that's, I think that's the final problem for this Jeep. It doesn't look too bad in this element. <laughs> All right, so diagnostics. I'm, I'm done with this thing. It needs an ABS module. So let's look up on service info what it takes to replace it. There's a part number. There's a price one hour to install and if you go to the procedure removal and replacement uh, looks pretty straightforward three bolts bolt it on and then go to ABS system uh, programming diagnostic test and it says we don't need to go to the dealer for this so if you replace the ABS module, you have to do the ABS initialization and brake pedal calibration routines. And that's available on the Think Tool Pros, so I think we're in good shape. We'll order one up. Yep, so so that's it. No need to get fancy with programming, just initialization. So we'll get one in and we'll put it on. Hopefully this 
This Jeep will be fixed and it also needs some fender liners for sure.